Hello, and welcome to the channel. I was wondering, how the RTX 3090 would perform in X-Plane 11. Also, I wanted to know, how the difference between Vulkan and OpenGL would be. So I made a test by flying a Cessna over Las Vegas. The video settings are all maxed out. I am playing at a resolution of 2560 by 1440 pixels. The video driver is version 456.71. If you follow my channel, you should know my PC specs by now. But of course, I repeat them again. I am running a AMD Ryzen 3950X on a MSI Tomahawk X570 at stock settings. I have 32GB of RAM at 3600MHz. My graphics card is the Palette GeForce RTX 3090 Gaming Pro. The CPU and the GPU are both water-cooled in one loop. All games are stored on a M.2 PCI Express SSD. If you have further questions about my system specs, leave a comment down below. So, what are we looking at here? First of all, I am a little bit disappointed by the overall performance of the 3090 in this game. Remember, there are no custom sceneries installed. The only thing I have installed is the Airport Environment HD package. What I have to admit though, I was never able to play in all settings maxed out, with my Radeon 5700 XT. So, there is a performance increase. What I didn't cover in this video, I retested this flight on my main display. It's a 49 inch ultra wide display with a resolution of 5120 by 1440 pixels. On Vulcan I was getting round about 30 FPS. I didn't test OpenGL. The frame rates I get, in OpenGL and in Vulkan, are very playable. And there shouldn't be anything to complain. But it somehow has a bad taste, when you consider the price of this graphics card. So, if you are only playing X-Plane 11, and you are considering buying the 3090 just for this game, I would not recommend it. Don't get me wrong, I am totally happy with my graphics card, and I don't want to give it back. But like I said, just for this game, it's not worth buying. I don't know the reason, why it doesn't perform as expected. I could only guess. Maybe it's a driver thing, or maybe it's a thing with X-Plane? I don't know. After all, it's quite playable, and so I am fine with it. Maybe I should ask Austin Meyer, what he thinks about that. I think I will write him an email. Let's see what he says. What I find interesting though, is the little difference between Vulkan and OpenGL of just 13%. This I didn't expect. Okay, conclusion time then. First, the game runs at round about 30 FPS on 5120 by 1440 with Vulkan. So, you should be able to play it with reasonable frame rates at 4K. Second, the performance at 2560 by 1440 pixels is a little too low for my understanding. But that's just my opinion. What do you think about this results? Leave a comment down below. Please, hit that like button if you like this video. Also, consider following me, so you won't miss any upcoming videos. See ya!